Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense, closed, Martinez variation, 6, B57. BB3. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well fought middle game that Black got the better of. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. B7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. D3 defends the e4 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. B5 takes space on the queen's side, attacks the bishop on a 4 and allows black to fianchetto the light squared bishop to b7. BB3 retreats the bishop to an active diagonal where it controls the center and attacks the f7 pawn. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This threatens to double the pawns in front of the king. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. This prevents the opponent from being able to double the pawns in front of the king. Backs off. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is the last book move. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This secures a pawn. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to win material. It is good. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to kick a bishop. This allows the opponent to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is a mistake. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. It is ideal. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This threatens to win a bishop. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The game was almost evenly matched, but white is now worse. It is incorrect. Initially, black had the upper hand, but now the score is nearly equal. 
it is incorrect. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? It is a mistake. This fails to take use of the chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This is the only move that works. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is a great move. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning material. It is a mistake. This is the only good move. This threatens to win a bishop. It is a great move. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is quite good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. A solid choice. It is excellent. Backs off. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is excellent. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of.